Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, March 7th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat stayed with me all night. Glad that I was back home and I let her out. And we have a fourth day of this beautiful icon from the 13th century from a church dome of a basilica in Venice. And this is when God makes lights in the heavens in the firmament. And what's so special about this icon is the firmament, the heavens, are depicted as a circle, as an orb, which as we know has so much scientific truth to it because there are so many planets and other objects in, in the universe that are circles orbs. The mystery of the created universe is amazing. But somehow, back in the 13th century, they were already understanding that a bit. We continue in the prophet Jeremiah, the poor soul Jeremiah. We really get to know him. He has been called from a young age to tell the people of Judah that things aren't looking good, that God is displeased because they've wandered far away. And sure enough, at the end of Jeremiah's prophetic career, Babylon will come and wipe out the entire kingdom, bringing them into exile. But in this passage, Jeremiah says, what nation gives up their gods to choose other gods? I brought you out of Egypt. I, I gave you this beautiful land full of promise, but you defiled it and you forgot me and you took other gods. And God says, I don't even know of other nations that want to trade their gods in for other gods, but yet you wanted to trade me in. You cast me away, and not even for something real, but for illusions, idols, myths. Why is it that we're drawn to things that don't last, things that we can't take with us into eternal life? Why is it that we're drawn to the opinions of others, to the way that we look, to money, success? Why is it that we spend our time chasing after these things that are temporal? This is a long-standing human predicament and one that really confounded Jeremiah. He watched the people rushing after false gods and he warned them saying, please, don't go after this stuff. It doesn't matter. But they wouldn't listen. And Jeremiah is often alone, a sad figure who tells the truth. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we set out upon a new day, help us set out with you in mind. Help us to serve you and not to serve our ambition or other idols that we create. Help us not to serve our fear. We ask you to guide us today, Lord, to be faithful to you. Whatever it is that you are asking of us to be open to your spirit's movement in our lives that we may know you today and draw closer to your presence. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ. Bless those who are dying, the hungry, those who mourn. Bless those who struggle with addiction, mental illness, loneliness. 
bring peace to this world, Lord Christ, peace to this city, peace to the church. Give a reverence for this earth to all of us. Help us to curb our consumption and give thanks for every meal and every leaf on every tree. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who showed us how to live with you in harmony. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.